This is part one of a two-part series on screen printing t-shirts at home. In part one, I'm going to show you how we set up our Speedball screen printing kit and transferred a Young Man's Workshop logo to the screen. Here I am applying the photo emulsion compound that I prepared to the screen using a squeegee. The photo emulsion compound comes with a small vial of powder that has to be mixed in with it in order to activate the compound. The compound can be purchased from most hobby stores. Almost immediately I began to get myself into trouble with this screen printing attempt. I had never done it before and I watched some YouTube videos on the process but I didn't realize that you can apply too much emulsion and make it too thick on the screen. What ends up happening as you'll see later is that it forms bubbles that then are become little pockets of uncured emulsion that will cause you trouble later on down the road. The emulsion is cured by light and I needed to make sure I had enough light so I had to go to my hardware store and buy a 250 watt incandescent light bulb. Despite the fact that the YouTube videos I watched indicated otherwise, I followed the instructions in the kit and set my time for 40 minutes. The white stripe at the bottom of the transparency I'm using is there so that the printer can find the transparency and doesn't think that the, there's no paper in the printer. My mistake was that I didn't cut this off ahead of time and it effectively acted as a light blocking mechanism and you'll see later on that it leaves a big hole in my screen. You can see as I'm attempting to clean the screen that all the little bubbles left over from having too much emulsion applied are coming off and leaving big holes in the screen. Also that stripe from the transparency is also leaving a big hole in the screen. And because I had too much light for too long, most of the logo is permanent and I'm not able to clean it off. Only a portion of the logo is coming off. At this point I'm starting over again. I'm using what is essentially sheer curtain fabric that you can get at any fabric store. And I'm applying it to my frame and reinserting the plastic bead that holds it in place and keeps it uh, taut. You want to make sure that the cloth is nice and taut on the frame and it needs to be almost drum-like. When you're working with the photo emulsion, you want to make sure that you're working in as little light as possible to prevent accidentally curing it. This time as I apply it again, I am scraping off any excess to keep the thickness as small as possible. You want the thickness to be about the thickness of a balloon. Because I was using a mechanic stand to hold the light, the light was not hitting the, the screen evenly. Also, I reduced the time from 40 minutes to 30 minutes. You can see the uneven cure very clearly here. You'll notice as I'm washing the screen that because the light wasn't hitting the screen evenly, that the side of the screen that was closest to the light is more cured than the side that is not. And so I was only able to clean off half of the logo this time. Thank you. 
For my final attempt at properly curing the screen, I reduced my time from 30 minutes to 20 and I rehung the light in such a way that the light was hitting the screen evenly. As you can see as I wash the screen, all of the uncured areas where the logo is supposed to be are cleaning off very easily. That's a sign that this attempt was successful. Come back for part two and I'll show you how I prepared the screen for uh, inking and you'll see the final product of the t-shirts that we made for a young man's workshop.